Assalamu alaikum and greetings, Alishan Ma here. Welcome to my little man cave and more RC video reviews. If you have a little RC vehicle, a um, little RC airplane, or a micro quadcopter like a Whoop, and you want to FPV all of these things, you will need a very tiny, lightweight, all-in-one FPV system. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video, a compact, tiny, little, lightweight, all-in-one FPV system that you can actually get online and get a real nice FPV range and first-person view performance out of this all-in-one FPV system. To make this lightweight, compact, all-in-one FPV system, you're gonna need a Runcam Micro Eagle. That's what's sitting here. This little 800 TV line camera with global WDR. And of course, you will need a TX200 that is a run cam a VTX video transmitter 5.8 GSZ capable to switch its power from 25 milliwatt to 200 milliwatt maximum all right this is your run cam micro eagle and together with the run cam TX200 this really makes a very nice all-in-one FPV combo you can see how well the TX200 actually fits behind the run cam micro eagle so you can basically stick the video transmitter right behind the camera okay and this becomes your lightweight all-in-one micro FPV system that is capable of transmitting video to a very good range if you put the video transmitter on 200 milliwatt power uh, the cables are pre-made so all you need to do is just connect this cable right here okay because this is your 5 volt ground and video out from the camera that goes to the video transmitter okay and after that for the video transmitter definitely you will need one of these kind of cables uh, otherwise you will have to actually take apart this cable and you know solder a kind of connector that you want to use with this video system but I have this kind of connector and I have a lot of batteries which have this kind of connector uh, remember that this takes uh, Remember that the TX200 takes very little voltage, so do not power it with a bigger battery. I'm going to use a 3.7 volt, which is more than enough to power the video transmitter and camera. So let's power it up and we will see how the camera actually performing and how the FPV system itself is performing. Alright, so I have my Eshin VR006D. I believe that's the number for these goggles and I'm going to power the camera system all right and I will just keep it a little bit away and we will scan hold on let me scan search nice signal okay right there hey what's up so there you are your camera system is now working you can see your all-in-one FPV system is basically working. You have a view of my room. What I like about the Runcam Micro Eagle, it has a nice wide-angle lens which actually shows a really nice view of everything. And the picture clarity is really, really nice on this camera. Now, if you want to tweak the camera, you have this little module here with the buttons you can connect with the camera, okay? Uh, right here on this port okay and now you can actually go and access the menu make something like this so you can see the menu properly okay and I will bring this closer in the focus so you basically have image day and night color or black and white video standard and TSC you can switch it to Paul as well you have a screen format 16 by 9 or a 4 by 3 you can change to it you have language English default loads software version save and exit in image you have max gain WDR as it says it has a global WDR that means you have about six different WDR settings that you can do image enhance 
hands you have sharpness saturation that you can set okay then you have mirror image you can flip the image change the brightness zoom in uh, you can set the zoom of the camera as well i don't want to set the zoom actually it looks very good with the wide angle all right so this is your menu as uh, so you can set things very very easily and very very quickly and after that just install this little fpv system on your micro rc that you want to fpv and enjoy doing fpv literally on any micro rc stuff like like these so you can install it on smaller airplanes like these you install it on a jet even inside the cockpit you can install it on diy fpv quadcopters flying wings best thing is if you have smaller aircraft like these like xk dsc2 beaver or xk a800 you need a compact rc you need a compact lightweight fpv system you can install it on these and fpv these planes as well you can fpv your scaled rc aircraft even or i can even replace the fpv system on my uh, you know uh, mobula 7 uh, fpv will be still sitting here or i can replace the fpv system on this beta flight fpv 75 okay and of course not to mention you can install them on these little rc crawlers and enjoy doing fpv rc crawling especially if you have a crawler like this one you can basically install the system inside the shell or right next to the driver's seat or in the middle of driver and passenger seat and get a very nice view fpv first person driving view from these crawlers so there you go this is how you can make a very nice all-in-one fpv system and enjoy the fpv experience on all your micro rc stuff thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell icon to stay updated for all the upcoming uploads oh.